Here we are on a cold and dreary morning in Manchester. I need door one for today's flight. It's a three hour easy jet ride. Since this is a short trip, we've only got carry on luggage. So thankfully I don't need to join that extra large queue. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. We got through security. It was a breeze, uh, no problems at all. And here we are in duty free. How rude. How very day. <laughs> Never been so insulted. As you can see, duty free, as always, bright and colourful. They force you to go through here before you get to the main part. And then we can just have a quick look at the ninjas. Yesterday, this happened. My son's asked for a trip to Iceland. Who am I to let him down? Charlie, come on. Dad's taking him to Iceland. There you go. Wow. Enjoy. Thank you. What's the your trip to Iceland? Of course, that was only a joke. So here we are at Manchester Airport, ready to go to Iceland. Guess whose birthday it is? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Charlie, happy birthday to you. Excited? Yeah. It's quarter past four and I'm very tired. And we're both absolutely shattered. We didn't have to queue in a check-in, uh, we've already pre-boarded. So we're just sitting here in Terminal 1, voted the worst terminal in the worst airport in the UK. It's a bit dull and dingy, but you know, we're only here for a couple of hours waiting mm -hmm. to board. Come and join us as we go to... Reykjavik. Reykjavik, Iceland. What are we hoping to see while we're in Reykjavik? The Northern Lights. The Northern Lights. We're only going for a day, so this is like a bit of a whirlwind trip. We're going to fly with EasyJet. Never flown with EasyJet before. Have you flown with EasyJet? So, first time experience, supposedly a cheap airline. It wasn't too cheap for us because, close your ears, this cost me £500 for one day. That's before you put the cost of the hotel in. I think the £500 is because we're flying on a good Friday. Perhaps not the best day, but today, as I say, is Charlie's birthday. So he's worth it. He's really worth it. It wouldn't be an early morning flight if we didn't come for breakfast. So we're setting off at six. We've been up since half two. So now I'm going to tuck into this. Here's today's flight. Let's get on board. The usual waiting around to board in a little corridor of doom. Yeah. I thought it was really lucky getting this little sneaky peek of the cockpit and the captain. Little did I realise how much better it would be at the end of the flight. The seats are in a 3x3 configuration. I did pay a little extra so we could have seats with extra leg room. I want a little bit of comfort on this 3 hour flight. And I do think early morning takeoffs from Manchester during good weather look absolutely amazing. I do love takeoff and landings. I love flights anyway, but the takeoff and landings are just absolutely amazing. It's the biggest thrill ever for someone like me. So far, so good. What do you think? Good. Look at all this room we've got. We have the whole of the front row to ourselves, so we could stretch out if we want to, but we want to stay close because it's someone's birthday. We've also got lights and individual air vents <laughs> when it eventually goes off, and lots and lots of leg room. I do recommend these seats. Especially when no one else books them. The tray table is in the armrest. Watch this. More than enough room for the fat man that I am. And if you're really skinny, you could have a dead close. Hey, even I can fit a dead close. How good's that? While it is very comfortable. The only thing is that there's no in flight entertainment because it's a short haul flight. So it's just got a little bit boring, but you know, thankfully I've got someone with me who's full of scintillating conversations, keeping me amused. The lights don't strobe in real life, it's just on the film. 
nothing much to report in the toilet other than it is very very small um, probably two toilets on the whole plane which isn't a lot for 300 odd people thankfully there's not an awful lot of people on this flight today as you could see in my row very very, very empty so yeah one thing I will mention is this One of the quietest toilets I've ever heard on a plane. I love this type of shot. And I do love a good galley, no matter how small it might be. Here's a word on safety from the comedian Pam Ann. Your safety card is located in your seat pocket. Please take a moment to study this card. Have a look at the pretty pictures because that's not how it's gonna pan out. Do you understand? If we go up in a big fireball, you are gonna be nothing. You're gonna be dust, ash. Well, um, thanks for that, Pam. Uh, that's, that's really settled me. I'm just gonna look out this window and try and calm down ever so slightly. We had breakfast in the airport before we come out, but on the way back, I think I might have to try something from the in-flight magazine. Oh, that looks nice. Three pound for a cup of tea. I bought some of that AU vodka at Christmas. I paid thirty-two pounds, so a bit of a bargain. Smell off blue, sixteen. Who was it who thought, you know what, sunglasses are too bulky, so let's make it so we can fold them. Why do you need to be able to fold sunglasses? Get a grip. Would anyone like some Brazilian bum bum cream? What do you think Brazilian bum bum cream's for? I think it's for your bum bum. Visibly firms and hydrates your skin. So it's just for anywhere. So calling it bum bum, I don't think it's a great idea. I'm trying to find an angle where I don't look back. I need someone stood. There. <laughs> they give you something to put your goodies in to take home. Ooh, what is it? One of these to take our goodies home in. Are you sure about that? Well, what do you think it is? A sick bag. Probably right. As you approach Iceland, there are some truly stunning views, and you can see there the active volcano. I did try and look up its name, I can't pronounce that name, so I'll just leave that. It's the active volcano, the one with all the smoke coming from it. I think they've evacuated 1,000 people. Unfortunately, while all this was erupting, a certain someone was asleep and I couldn't wake him up for it, so it's just one of the things he missed. He's watching this with you now. Let's have a look in the flight deck. Very, very graciously we, we accepted. Um, I, I couldn't think of a, of a better thing to do. I think I enjoyed it more than he did, to be fair. Shot. It's amazing. Thank you. Right, bye. Bye. Mate, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die, you know, Sean. I'm gonna die. How old are you today? Well, no, thank you. Spending a full day in Iceland. Wow, full it? day. Very nice. I was here yesterday as well. Thanks for that. If you're coming back tomorrow, you might have to us up. Yeah, we know. I've been here before, so it's amazing. Here we are in Iceland. Yeah, we'll there's our plane. Just you've just been in the cockpit of that plane. Who is it? Should we go on that one next? Good to see you too. Ooh. Here we are in a very bright, sunny but ultimately cold Iceland. Just looking at this big sculpture here. Is that a sperm breaking through an egg? It's another big sculpture in the background. This is the airport we've just arrived in. We'll go and grab a taxi in a second, see if they'll let us into our hotel. We are very, very early, so it's quite possible they won't. But we'll give it a go. Here we are in Iceland. What do you think? Chilly, but good. It's chilly, but it's sunny. What do you think of the flight? Flight was good. Oh, come on, it was amazing. Special birthday treat for the birthday boy. I think I enjoyed it more than him. I love looking at things like that. And it's years since I've been in a cockpit. So we had a look at the cockpit. So yeah, hopefully we're going to see Northern the Northern Lights from our hot tub. Join us and I'll show you if we see them or not. 
we're going to try our very very best we're just going to jump a taxi so yeah thought that flight was really really good the staff were really great they didn't have to let us go into the cockpit all in all top notch quite pricey for a no frills but i think it's because we've come on a good friday uh, but that's it for now join us back in the hotel bye for now bye.